let's bring you up to speed with the latest, shall we? Now, security agencies in Embu sub-county have seized counterfeit liquor and arrested three suspects at a home in Gatondo village, a Tabua sub-location. The three suspects were arrested when cleaning bottles in readiness for package. The area uh, through our officers on the ground that uh, some uh, liquor, illicit liquor was being uh, produced in this area. And uh, immediately we, we came here and managed to, to come in into a building that you can see behind us. And uh, actually we found, uh, we found the, the brewing taking place. They are the ones which are maybe maiming people and killing people. So we are putting them on alert that we are on, off, uh, we are on them and we are going to take a, what we call a police action. We would also send a word of warning to all those people that we know what they are doing and most cases we will just catch up with them and uh, take the necessary action that's uh, taking, through, taking them through the court process. So that Elsewhere, Meguri County is facing a shortage of doctors amid a new wave of the COVID-19 pandemic. The county's chief office in charge of medical services, Dr. Dalmaso Yogi, says the ratio of doctors to the patient in the county currently is worrying. Speaking at the Erongo Sub-County Hospital during the commissioning of an one... 7.2 million shillings emergency operation room. Oyugi is said understaffing under staffing both of the county referral hospital and the outreach facilities have been a major drawback. You even wonder how we are going to sustain our services here because of lack of staff. But we have told the county government service board to give us higher for us more staff. And a theater like this requires at least three doctors. One on operation, one is preparing, and one is on leave or off to come back. So we are sure that as we talk today, our theater is going to be sustained. We are at a critical point because we all the barabaras, all the roads merges in Rongo. So we experience such cases of accident, and in our case now, we can handle them here if they are not, they don't require specialized treatment then we can handle them. Talai High School in Baringo County has built a dispensary to serve students, teachers, and the surrounding community as well as income generating. The school principal, Silvanas Chapter Roos, say the facility will help improve health services delivery in the region. Proceeds from the facility will go toward sponsoring the education of students from underprivileged backgrounds. Baringo Governor Stanley Kiptiz also promised to support the school by employing a nurse and supplying drugs to the dispensary. When we make savings from income generating activities, apart from infrastructure activities that we are able to construct, like this dispensary, the board also declare part of that money to support uh, needy students who hail from humble backgrounds. Um, this is an idea. We have been running the Talai Secondary School Bursary Scheme from the year 2016. And out of that program, we have been able to transit a good number of students to the university. Azimula Umoja One Kenya Coalition presidential running mate Mother Karua says the party pre represents progressiveness and inclusion of all and no one will be left out of the government if it wins the race to State House. Karua, who met leaders of Muslim organizations in the country, said the Raila Odinga led alliance is committed to correct historical injustices and upholding human rights. There are certain basic needs, human needs, that each person ought to be able to access and therefore the country must do these things for those who are unable to achieve them for themselves. And those things are shelter, they are food, they are the basics like water, education, all those things that you need for your life 
to progress. We are committed to electing leaders of integrity that will fight corruption. We have taken a decision that we are going to support Martha with everything we can. We'll support her physically with everything that we have, materially with everything we have. We will campaign for her. We will vote for her as Muslims. Can ever truly flourish if it stifles the potential of its women and deprives itself of the contributions of half of it. The government has been urged to beef up security in schools located in areas affected by perennial banditry. West Pokot Governor Professor John Lunyangapuas says some schools located along the county borders have been affected by insecurity, a situation that has seen some, uh, some of them lock the doors to learners. Secondary school. Nitafute county commissioner ya West Pokot Niwonyeshe address ya iyo mkora Awekwe kwa put ya gari Kwa ulise uko yao ilikuwa wapi samani Akwene Anakonganisha watu Because that's not us Siyo sisi kukonganisha watu We want peace hapa Sobo tunayeshimu sana mambo ya ilimu Journalist the National Cohesion and Integration Commission, NCAC, has embarked on the training of security officers on how to tackle electoral violence. NCAC Deputy Director James Ochola Akelo says the security officers will play a major role in beefing up security after the elections. That we have a team of uh, security officers from both counties because they are key. They are key when it comes to elections. They are the ones who provide security, and we felt that they need to have that uh, requisite knowledge to handle election issues, offenses in terms of hate speech, uh, electoral offenses, and uh, the process of investigation. Our role here today to assist the police officers uh, in line of investigations or in uh, to cover some certain areas or where offenses really need that direction or guidance. They, they need that guidance from the prosecution. It's good that the, even the peace forums that we conduct be put into considerations and not, uh, or to the highlight rather than only focusing on the issues of head speech, which is just a component and a function, and uh, uh, I mean one of the, uh, the work of the... Uh, a clean energy project geared toward tackling changes have been launched at Ichin Girls Secondary School in Masaba Sub Masaba South Subcounty, Kisi County, the project that has been funded by Equity Foundation will help the schools reduce dependence on wood for fuel, meal preparation hours and mitigate against respiratory diseases through prevention of air pollution. We realized particularly secondary boarding schools are the biggest consumers of firewood. And then we realize that the trees that we are planting and committing a lot of resources, then it's will be in danger hours. if we don't do something about consumption of firewood. And we did a research and found that schools in Kenya are consuming in excess of one million metric tons of wood per year to keep their kitchens running. Do you know how much that one translates to? Mathematicians. Hmm? One million metric tons of power would translate into cutting 12 million trees a year. 12 million trees a year being cut to sustain our education institution, destroy our environment through um, cutting trees for firewood. We have just planted 15 million trees in, in two and a half years. Two million trees on the ground, courtesy of equity, and I'm sure a few have been planted. I'm sure even some principals who are here could have been beneficiaries of the trees uh, that we've been planted.
The joining of Forces Africa now wants the government to develop and implement policies and laws that protect children from harmful practices and allocate cost budgets for child protection. The group is advocating for a strength legal and justice system to protect the rights of children, especially girls, and take these decisive actions against those who perpetrate violence against children. At the same time, they want challenges that perpetrate viola violation of children's rights such as gender inequality, discrimination, poor access to education and poverty tackled while involving young people and girls in policy and decision-making process by ensuring that their voices are heard and considered in all aspects touching on their lives. This was revealed during a roundtable breakfast that was held here in Nairobi, Kenya was COVID when children were supposed to be, were, were forced to go back home. All edu education institutions were closed down and children are forced to go home. Some people took advantage of that. So that has contributed a lot to, towards that increase. There are other, other issues that also because I think governments, apart